Hey guys, Jeff here with Mitsubishi Cooling and Heating. Welcome to another episode of Tech Tips. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a common problem where our noise filter board ends up going bad, which is caused by a shorted power board. Before we get into troubleshooting, let's take a look at the two boards involved in this problem and see what role they play within the equipment. The first board we have is called the noise filter board. The noise filter board acts very similar to a single pole contactor. It allows one leg of power to constantly flow to the unit while the other leg goes through our relay. However, when it goes through the relay, it also runs through a parallel current limiting resistor. This allows voltage to still be on enough to keep, say, the lights on, but it doesn't allow enough for it to run the system. When there's a call for operation, that relay closes and allows full power to flow through the relay and drop out of the resistor. Now, the next board we have is called the power board. The power board takes 208 or 230 volts AC into it, and it converts it to a high voltage DC. This board is also referred to as the IPM or the inverter board. So let's take a look at our system here and see how when the power board shorts, it ends up blowing the noise filter board. After we've verified that there's full power coming into the condenser, either 208 to 230 volts AC, we we'll want to make sure that we have that same power leaving the noise filter board. Check your wiring schematic for the exact terminals. In this case, we're using terminals LO and NO. In my system, I still have a full 208 to 230 volts AC. If we don't have full voltage leaving the noise filter board, that means we could have a shorted or a bad resistor. Check the resistor, simply power off the unit, and then check ohms across the resistor. When measuring the resistor, you should receive about 20 ohms. If your resistor is blown, now it's time to move on and check if the power board is shorted. In our example, we're gonna assume that it is, but let's see how to check the resistance across the power board. What you'll wanna do is remove the incoming power wires to that power board. This will vary depending upon the unit you're working on, so please make sure to refer to the equipment schematic. When you're measuring resistance across the power board, in essence, you're checking to see if it's shorted or not. A good functioning power board would receive either OL, or in some cases, very high ohms, like mega ohms or kilo ohms. If you receive very low resistance, 0.2 to 0.3, or up to two or three ohms, that means your power board is shorted. What we're checking here is a very specific scenario. The scenario is that the power board shorts and it back feeds into the noise filter board and zaps its resistor. We hope you enjoyed the video. For additional information, especially wiring schematics, please feel free to visit our website at www.mylinkdrive.com. If there's a topic you'd like to see discussed in the future, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of tech tips and homeowner help.